My first day back filming in a week. I haven't filmed in like a week almost. I just, I, fi I filmed so much last week that I just, I, I've been, you know, just editing content for the last, you know, two or three days, three, four days, whatever it is. So before, before we pull this truck in, I want to show you guys something special about this truck. It, you guys notice, caught me off guard. I need to show you guys this truck later. Don't let me forget. Texas license plate here. This is the first build that we've done at the shop in a, in a year of this madness that's come from Texas. The very first one. The Can-Am? Hey, as soon as he moves the truck, we're gonna get the Can-Am in there. First build from Texas. Like I said, I'm trying to get better about giving you the before and after because I feel like some of you don't believe that we build these trucks. So I wanna get the, the before and the after. This nice charcoal gray with the red accents, but hey, look. Texas. Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas in the house. Look at that, look at that side by side over there. Hey, isn't that the, fa isn't that the fastest side by side you can buy? I think it's the fastest side by side you can buy. Isn't it the fastest one you can buy? Yeah. I'm supposed to be getting my center caps today too. Kind of excited. So a lot of you, like I said, I, I like to show the, the before and after. And like I said, this is the first day that I've filmed in a couple of days. And obviously we're gonna go over this truck 100% here in a little bit as well. Um, I haven't filmed any of the build on this truck that's been here for, you know, two days now or a day or something, whatever it was. I haven't filmed any of this. You know, my boys kit, traction bars, 26s, you know, the whole the whole nine yards. And like I said, I haven't filmed in a couple of days. So I just, I wanna make sure, I'm, I'm sure any of you, especially, the, unless you're new to the channel, you may not believe we build all these trucks. But any of you that have been longtime subscribers of the channel know that we, you know, do all of these trucks. But we got a lot to, up, to update you on. Daily videos are back. And I'm just, I'm happy to be back behind the camera. Let's get this bread. I don't know why we never thought of this before. I feel like Jake has, I never have. I just created a Facebook page for that white bow tie. I don't think I've ever done that. So I just sat here for the last 15 minutes and created a Facebook page. For any of you that are on Facebook and this is how you guys, you know, digest my content, take in my content. I now have a Facebook page that I'll be sharing all of the Instagram posts to. Um, I won't be really be posting stories and be on Facebook like that, but I will keep uh, updates on all the videos, everything that we're doing, just everything on Facebook. So if you don't have an Instagram, but you have a Facebook, it's super easy just to click on the link and watch the videos if that's what you like to do. So I just you know, wanna let you guys know that I do have a Facebook page. Not asking you guys, if you're on Instagram, to go to the Facebook page, but if you're already there, now it's there for you. You don't have to go back and forth trying to make it easy. And I feel like sharing videos on Facebook is so much easier, but I do have something really cool to show you guys that I've been waiting on for a couple of days. Um, I've been talking about the center caps. If you guys follow my Instagram at that wide bow tie, um, you have seen me post my custom bread gang center caps all over the place. And actually a lot of other people have been sharing them too. And I'm really grateful for that. Um, but yeah, Chauncey's been sharing, a lot of people have been sharing them, but they're, uh, they're, they're here and I'm, I'm super excited. This is, this is the moment we've been waiting for to, uh, to be able to reveal the custom floating all billet polished metal center caps for the bread gang and this is uh this is that moment so i'm uh really excited they're actually like really shallow too look how shallow those are should i go get one of the forgiato ones i wouldn't worry about it no i'd wear that shirt got forgiato's wearing a kg1 shirt <laughs> So the biggest thing about the Forgiato caps that we didn't really like is the uh, the fact that they were so deep, right? And that's nothing against Forgiato. We just, I didn't like how deep the cap was. I wanted a more shallow cap. And I've always wanted floating center caps and I've always wanted bread gang caps. So this is, uh, you need something? <laughs> oh, that one's beautiful. Yep. Oh my gosh. I, it doesn't even seem real that this is mine. You know what I mean? It, it really just, it doesn't even seem seem real that that's a heavy cap too you want to see no you don't want to see absolutely not things going on look the bread gang floating cap baby let's get this bread baby the bread sandwich one of one custom center caps for the bread man himself that's crazy. Shout out Cap King. Shout out Ruthless Forged. I'll show you Drill Spinner, buddy. I don't believe you. Get out of here. Look at them. 
I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care what, what you want to put on for the camera right now. That's, that's fire. That's fire. We got to put them on the truck. Hey, skinny. So much better, right? Skinny float. I'm gonna be sick. I'm. I told y'all on Instagram a couple weeks ago. I'm about to give y'all hell. I'm about to give y'all hell on social media with these. It's just gonna be all day long. Just all day long. Beautiful. Shout out, Cat Cap King. Ooh. Yeah, buddy. For those of you that haven't seen on Instagram or anything like that, obviously you saw them come out of the box, but. This is it. Dang, look at that. That's so freaking cool. The freaking bread gang caps. It really changes the look of the wheel in my opinion. It's got a, a much deeper look to it compared to that now with that big huge center cap in it. Yeah, buddy. I like it. I like it. All the way from Look, this one's forever gonna hold a, a special place in my heart because of you know it's my my. Did you have you had the Instagram on there the whole time? And I just put that, just put that on there. Well, you know, you know, of course I got to show off the Instagram. You know, my favorite color is red. So the special thing about this one is obviously where the wheels came from. You know, Jimmy used to have these red wheels. Um, I had the red wheels on my truck for like two weeks while I was waiting on mine to come in. Um, so. This one's a little a little special to us here at the shop just because of where the wheels came from and you know I got a call a couple weeks ago saying hey, I'm from Texas I'd love to come out and obviously never done a truck from Texas So, you know what whatever we had to do to make it work You know, I love meeting you guys and being able to build trucks from all over the country and would love to You know keep this street going of traveling and meeting you guys and you know I would love to start doing meetups and stuff So if you guys want us to travel and come see you, please let me know pay for the flight fly me out I'll be uh, like the Instagram models. You can fly me out, take me to dinner or something. You know, it'd be cool. All jokes aside, that what year is this truck? I'm terrible about remembering. 21. 21. 2021 uh, Chevy RST, hence the name. Dixon Rollers RST. I like that. That's real clean. That's real clean. I like the. I like the red. Obviously, you got the 24 by 12 fuel Tritons with the Gladiators 37, 1350, 24 Gladiators. Um, I mean, it's is it. Is it a Southern Tire build at this point? If it doesn't have a McGoy's kit, I mean, I feel like that's that's kind of you know just uh, a must-have with the upper control arms up top. Always a, a beautiful accent as well. Um, something unique about this truck, other than the fact that it's from Texas, and I just I lo I love that. I really do. Just to be able to say that, I probably won't be able to say that for another couple of weeks, couple months maybe, you know, because we don't get to build stuff from that far west too often. Which I mean, it's really weird, but it just it is what it is. Um, Mr. Dixon put these these decals down the side himself, which well, with the help of his wife. I don't I, I don't know how y'all did it. I would have messed it up about 15 times and then I would have gave up on it. But when it rolled, I thought it was something that came from the factory this way. I didn't even think twice about it when I saw it. But now that you say something, I feel like a in today's day and age, I feel like they wouldn't have, they wouldn't sell a truck at the dealership with an American flag on it. That's an Etsy deal. You know what I mean? At the, what, what, what kind of world do we live in where they, they aren't allowed to put American flags on the trucks at the dealerships anymore? I feel like that's something they would say. But long story short, uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan. Jimmy, I love your truck to death, but your wheels look better on this one. Thanks, Jimmy. Yes, thank you, Jimmy, for the for the red wheels. They, they look better on this truck. Than they, hey, but hey, Forgiato Jimmy, you can't be mad at that, right? Forgiato Jimmy out here on the Forgiatos. We're all in the F family, right? We're all in the F family. Y'all go show some love. Follow my man on Instagram. Go show some love. Stop playing. Stop being haters out there. We love y'all anyway. Let's get his breath. Is it? Is it? Is it a cool experience to be able to be parked? You know, next to the. Well, I guess mine's down there. I'm always. I'm always the outcast of the group. You got a special parking spot. Park next to the. Be in the lineup for once. You know what I mean? I'm sure people see this this lineup on Instagram all the time. We're on YouTube all the time. Where we'll have Lou, or we'll have Johnson, we'll have Jimmy. You know, we'll have Vic that's in there. Vic's in there getting his stuff done. Um, you know, just the, the whole lineup. I need to tell you guys about that truck soon. It's just it's it's a cool thing to to be able to bring people in and you know be be a part of the family. It just if you guys wanna wanna come get a truck built, you, you obviously just let me know. We'll, we'll make it happen. So none of none of that came on here. Uh, yeah, like, no, I bought, we bought that on my F. I, I like that. I red, red uh, Chevy myself. I really like that actually. I'll pull a pawn. That'd be alright. <laughs> Make it look good. 
I'm sure, I'm sure that drive back ain't, ain't gonna yeah. treat us too well, is it? It's definitely different. I like it. Big, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. And we got the uh, red Chevy on the back. Red and black Chevy and the RST. The matching step. I like it. Oh, the southern tire on the back. Nice. Nice. This looks good. Jimmy, this looks way better than your truck does. Get out of here. I want to make this, make this known. So Mr. Dixon here dropped this truck off today at eight o'clock. All right, was it eight o'clock? Yeah. Hey, eight o'clock. And um, it is now 2.42, right? Now I've been outside talking and BSing and I was on the phone for a little bit. And uh, you know, this truck realistically was done about 12, 12.30. We've been out here BSing for about two hours. Um, it, it happens, it really does. In and out, same day. We're starting Vic's truck with the body lift back there that you guys will hear more about in a day or so. Um, that'll be coming to the channel in a couple days, something like that. Um, it's what we do, in and out, same day. You know, everyday build, not too big, not too small. You know the vibes, right? I've probably said this two or three times in this video. So after going to Miami and then going to Philadelphia, uh, we were just completely worn out. And uh, the first time I've picked up the camera in about a week is for this video right here. So after we took about a week off, my, my guy Ramon came and got his truck done and I, I didn't even film the process. I wanted to just be able to come back fresh and just show a cool truck that was done. We got your 2020 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD, nine inch McGoy's lift. Just like I said about the guy from Dallas, is it really a Southern Tire build if we didn't throw a McGoy's kit on it? McGoy's upper control arms. We got some 26 by 14. KG1 Phoenix, absolutely beautiful with the 37 inch Furies. The all gloss black and chrome is clean as hell. I love the Silverados. I love the Chevy 2500s over the Denali's, 100%. I'm sorry, but I like the Silverados over the Denali's. The, the all black, the all black front end with a little bit of chrome accent, the black mirrors, the black emblems, a little bit of chrome emblems on it. We got the rear traction bars to go with it. We got the uh, front compression struts to go with it. Got the rear traction bars to go with it. The whole nine yards, baby. Oh yeah, I got the music playing, the sun's out. Beautiful day. Freaking vibes right here, man. I'm telling you, it's a beautiful ass truck. Ramon, I hope you enjoy it. Got the big Southern Tire banner up top. It's all love, it's all vibes out here. Beautiful day. It ain't even summer yet, baby. Let's get this bread. Yeah, I'll bring them out to you. Oh, okay. This truck looks a little bit taller than the last time I saw it. About an inch. Where are these going? About an inch? Yeah, what are you doing with this old old trash? Maybe. Oh, the, the fit of all these. The fit of all these. I think I was going to hold them to and let them be like my spare, but I might like throw them and then get like a cheaper set. This truck looks about three inches taller than the last time I saw it. You must be putting some new wheels and tires on this thing, huh? Let's go see what Vic's got going on. He's ready for the 26s. Mikey's about to put them on. Yeah, you want to grab one? 26 by 16 TIS 547s. And the 40 inch Versa tires are 39s. Somebody's gonna call me out in the comments. You know how people are. 38. They're 39s, 39 and a half. They're not 40s. No, no, no. Pull out your tape measure. Which way are we going? We're going to the to the left. Oh. Sorry, Barry. I'm all in the way. I told Vic that truck looks a little bit taller than the last time I saw it. Some people say. Some people say that. I wish I knew last week. What size is this? 26, 16, and 40s. Dang. That's huge. We're about to see. We're about to see what it looks like. Yeah. Touch up the front, do the rear. Yes, sir. It's the moment. Are you excited? Yes and no. I see the eyebrow movement up there. I don't know if excited is the word. I'm like. 
I'm excited beyond, for you. I'm like beyond excited. I'm excited for you. Would be. I'm excited. You're about to join a uh, very elite team. Yeah. I got to get three. I got to get deep. We can, you know. You will be number three of the group. We, yeah, there's only a couple of us oh, yeah. that, that can afford to have 26 by 16, so. I don't know. American Express might call me if they're trying to swipe this card and be like, hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, a no-go, bud. <laughs> That thing looks so big like this. Holy crap, look at that. Dick's gonna be happy about this. Yeah, buddy. That's crazy. Look how big that th I wish it really sat that tall. That'd be crazy. Uh. That, thing's, that thing's big though. It's a completely different truck now. Completely different truck. Jimmy's gonna be mad at me because he's on Forgiatos with me, but I, I kind of, I'm a fan of the red. I like, yeah, the, the red 100% is, is the move here. It's so big though. And you're gonna, you're gonna daily drive this thing? Screw it. I mean, it, you're a lot it's taller than me. Yeah, yeah, you're I'm a lot big, taller tall than dude, me. so it fits. Big and tall? It fits. You got more swag than I do. More steez. Ah. I thought about it, so I've been I've been I've been grinding hard on TikTok for the last couple of days, right? Just 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 flooding content on TikTok. And I thought about potentially making the uh ah thing for TikTok. I feel like that's something that TikTok What's could, your hashtag gonna be? Like how are you gonna spell it? Uh A with four H's. Ah. I think it's gotta be like an L in there though. When the tongue moves, it kind of. So it's like an A H H H L L L. Or maybe like L's and then another H on the end of the L. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to be TikTok famous with the ah. This is, this is just great. I don't think you understand how, how great this is right now. It's just like a quarter you got the whole freaking gang out here, huh? Yeah. The whole gang. You got all two of them. What you got to say down there? <laughs> let me get Let me get a. Ah! <laughs> Only went on in there, didn't it? Where's that Jimmy? I kinda I kinda like Vic's truck more. I kinda like Vic's truck more, huh? Went on in there. Lou, come on now. <laughs> and then you got look, the other two back there. Look, it doesn't it look like the other two trucks are back there just so jealous. They're they're back there just plotting. The other two trucks are back there just like no, we tell him to come over there. Dang. Back there just upset. <laughs> you know what else it, does? it looks real good. These bleeps? These bleeps? I gotta bleep that out, Jimmy. Don't be cussing on my channel. <laughs> big. Ties. The OGs to the shop. I know y'all seen them floating the center caps, right? Look, so we got this. The uh the red the red F250, beautiful. Denali King, shout out. Denali King the goat. Forgiato Jimmy. With the Forgiatos and the McGoys. Gang. Jimmy's got some uh Floating caps. Me and Jimmy, the only ones with the floaters out here right now. What's what's happening? And then he's got the new Forgiato 
banner on the front and then he i think denali king just brought him a southern tire one for the front he's got a big southern tire one on the back denali king does a lot of the decals for us hit the shop so if y'all need any decals or shirts or anything made hit him up does a great job uh boss man lou down there in the cut one of the favorites lou's got some new stuff on the way so y'all stay tuned but this one right here is one that i've been keeping a secret for a little while and it, it, it was one that I've been trying to find the right time to film and, and ended up coming together perfectly with the uh, with Andre from Chicago getting the 28s. They were done at the same time. They will be separate videos. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I did a full like documentary style build for this. So make sure you guys check that video out. It may be posted before or after, you know, just just check the uh, check the channel. But me and Slick Vic have a, have a very special relationship. So I went and picked up a dog, right, from Illinois one time. Um, dog's name is Halo. She's a Husky. She's about a, she's about a year old now and she's a freaking nightmare she's 100 miles an hour all the time and we also went and picked up the bumpers off Lou's truck down there so me and Vic have a have a little just you know a history between the two of us and we ended up taking the bow tie we picked up the bumpers picked up the draw dog drove 12 hours to Illinois and back together and it was it was a great time and it's a it's a memory there's also a video of it on YouTube I'll try and link it below it's a memory that we'll have forever and I'm and I'm grateful for it Vic came in a couple months ago had his truck towed uh, sorry a couple weeks ago had his truck towed over here to get a tie rod fixed this truck was initially towed to Southern Tire from Alabama to get a tie rod fixed that is it and he has now left with the three inch body lift 26 by 16s and 40s so obviously slick vic at some point had the nine inch lift the nine inch fts lift put on the fts kit when we met vic he had some 22 by 14s and some uh, some venoms on there with the nine inch lift now we did not put that on brought it back we built the relationship like i said he came in for a tie rod and we ended up leaving with a three inch body lift 26 by 16 tis 547 black and milled wheels and the versa tire 39 inch what 39 15 50 26s yeah 39 15 50 26s so now vic with the nine inch fts three inch body lift and 39s has the same setup as my man jimmy over here with the 10 inch mcgoys 26 by 16s and 39 1550 versa tires i know if i keep saying venoms i might have messed that up 100 percent they're versa tires so you got the the silverado on the 10 inch mcgoys and the three inch body lift and you got the red Silverado on the uh, nine inch FTS and the three inch body lift. I do believe for whatever reason that Jimmy's is a hair taller, just in case you guys were wondering. I may not be able to get the two trucks together, but just in case you guys are wondering, Jimmy's truck is about half an inch taller. I think Jimmy's truck just looks taller in general. I don't know why. I think it just, it looks a hair taller and I'm not sure why. But I think in my honest opinion, you guys know I like red. I like the red and black a little bit more. I don't know why. I've already told Jimmy this. He knows it. He knows it's all love. But for whatever reason, Slick Vic, that red, the black, the body lift, 2616s, the 40s, all together, it's freaking beautiful, man. And I, I, I really, I hope you enjoy it. I don't, I, I don't know how he's gonna daily drive this thing. Vic daily drives this truck. 6'4", dude, needs a big truck, right? I guess, I guess it's, it's only right. Yeah.